Hi, it's Denise from Foursquare Marker Farm, and this is the official start of the spin to leave along. And of course, the first thing I want to talk about is spinning warp. If you did your calculations already, you know that the bulk of the project is the warp part. That's the most spinning we're going to do for the project because the warp is going to be the part that's under tension. Special care has to be paid to how the warp is spun. And there's a couple different arguments about what type of yarn you can use for warp uh, because depending on the type of loom and how much tension you put the warp under, there are some yarns that traditionally would not be considered good warp that will hold up. So I'm just making a general blanket statement that when you're talking about spinning yarns for weaving and spinning them for warp, you want a warp that is worsted spun and tightly spun and smooth. Like I said, there are exceptions. Um, I have spun with single ply. Um, I want to really want to say it was um, loosely spun, but it wasn't as tight, hard, and smooth spun as I spin the majority of my warps and also you may not need to spin your warp as tightly spun as i'm going to spin mine you'll have a different look and feel to your warp if it isn't as tight and smooth as mine are okay so first of all i have the benefit of working with a long wool which makes it easier to spin worsted and I'm not necessarily needing to spin as tight a warp as if I was spinning with um, something like merino, which is a softer fiber and would need a higher twist. Okay, so that's one of my benefits. And I, I generally, I've woven with merino, but I do choose my warp carefully. And this fin in general is just going to really um, be able to resist really high tension if I was cranking my loom up to that kind of tension, which I do sometimes. I have to be honest, I do like a really tight warp, but it doesn't, warp does not need to be tight. It just needs to be consistent. And I'll talk about that more when we actually warp the loom. Okay, so anyway, this is how I prefer to do my, I prefer to spin worsted for warp. I just prefer to spin wor worsted, period. And I'm not really big on the combs. And if you saw my combing video, that's pretty much because the combs that I have aren't really useful for what I like to spin. And combs do produce a great deal of waste. So I'm not using the combs. I could use the hackle, but same thing with the hackle. And most of the time, I flick my fiber. So I'm getting sort of the benefit of worsted because it's all still lined up parallel. Uh, but it's not quite the same as being combed. So I always line the fiber up. All the tips in the same direction okay and if you this fiber has been here for like six years so there's some clumps here I need to deal with uh, I could deal with them when I go for the other pass but it's so much easier for me to do it now and separate them the locks and lay them tip onto the cloth Okay, this is all I'm gonna do now. I don't not, I don't really need to load the cloth to demonstrate how I'm going to do this. So that's enough. So basically, it's all lined up. Uh, just looking at the fiber, all I'm concerned about is the tips. There's not much VM if there's any, just a little teeny bits inside the fiber. So I don't have to load it really high on the cloth. Not in this case. Uh, and a lot of times I might pick it up. If there's a lot of debris further down from the tips, I'll usually do this. I pull my tips, keeping everything parallel. And then I'll put it higher up and flick until I get that VM or any type of neps or anything that might need to. And I'm still keeping everything parallel. Okay. Here's some leftover. This is long enough for me to spin. 
So this is the tip end. I'm going to take this end and put it here. Okay, now, then I just flip it over. And let's pull these off because these are tip ends. Flip it over. And I flip the other side. Okay. There's a big mat right there. There's a really big mat right here. Before I flick it, I'm going to see how much of it I can break apart. Okay. Now I'm going to flick it. That one was a little hard. Okay. And now I just make sure as I load or as I lay the fiber out into the pile that's already flicked, uh, I know, of course, which end was the flick end because I do prefer to spin it from tip to the shorn end. But, well, that's another mat altogether. And I just place my piles here. Same thing with this one. Okay. And basically, that's about it. And that's what I'm going to do for the entire pound. Well, not quite the whole pound because some of it is already roving. But that's what I'm going to do in order to prepare my warp for spinning. And I'm going to do the pretty much the weft just like this. Uh, it'll be just fine. And it'll have a whole different spinning technique. So I won't worry too much worry about the prep for the warp, for the weft. But it's really just the warp I want to make sure I get a nice worsted prep for. Okay, so if you want to see what this looks like when you're combing, if you are combing, then I actually do have a video from the Spinner's Book of Yarn Designs uh, Journey Group about combing, where I am combing some Jacob Finn, and pretty much it's basically a pretty simple process. All right, thank you, everybody. I hope you're having a great time prepping fiber, and we should be starting to spin soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.